All right, welcome back, everyone. We are here on season two, episode two of John and Eric's epic adventures into Skyrim. Now, jo uh, John, by the way, John has changed his name. He has a new name. I forgot to mention this in the last stream. John Rorickson is now known as John the Righteous. Uh, and that is because dragon he's... Born, huh? Was it your ma or your pa that was the dragon? <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Thanks. So because, because we pretty much pray for anyone, like any uh, enemy that we can sanctify their remains, we do so. That is going to be our uh, our new name that we travel around with. It's John the Righteous. So Or just John, for sure, right? Because everybody knows who he is. So it is currently, it's almost 1 a.m. Look at this. Like, look how beautiful all of this is, right? We're camping up on the top of uh, Meridia's temple here. And you can see... Come on, there we go. All of the uh, the little ball things up there. We're gonna be making our way down there. One of the first things that we're gonna do right here is bring out our skills, because we have a few perks to spend. And it's never fire making, so we'll just skip right past that. And I did a little bit of investigating on which of these skills we should really invest into. And we have a few options here. So ambient temperatures can warm you faster, or we can start looking into increasing our Magicka regen or stamina while well-fed. And I think we're going to push up the line of stamina, which means we, oh, we're already at that rank. Why? Oh, I, I was selecting the wrong one. I was like, what? So eating restores 10% more hunger. We don't really care about this. We care about the next book. So we'll choose it. You know, and I guess it's nice that food is better, right? Helps a little bit. And then from here, let's see. So our frost protection with Frostfall is pretty much maxed out. This increases the warmth of all worn equipment by 25% uh, while wearing equipment in every slot. And then this one is the coverage. So this is for rain. I don't really care about that. The other option that we could do is put... Uh, you know, making it so that we can swim in frigid water longer. Which might be worth it, but the fact that we, we'll probably just use snowberry extract for that. And then this increases, it's like your base warmth, but I don't really understand if... I think we're going to go for this one because I think it's better it's all around. So it'll just keep us warmer as we're adventuring, right? And then we're back to the, uh, back to this, so... Oh my god, Eric, what have you done? We can just kind of... <sighs> Eric standing right in the way there. Exit skills. There we go. So we will sleep. And we'll do we'll do seven hours. We want to be fully rested for this, right? Get up at 8 a.m. Because this is going to be one hell of a mission. Right? We... So let's see. We're parched. We're well rested. Let's focus on our food. Right, and we are going to be pulling out all the stops here. So we will do a beef stew. We're just going to do a tomato mammoth stew. Pack everything up. Break down our fire. We'll cast some healing auras. I probably should have done this uh, before I ate the food. There we go. Now, put the tent back on the horse, and we are going to be attempting to get Dawnbreaker today. And my understanding is that this is an incredibly challenging quest. Like, really difficult. So, we're gonna be doing our best. Like, we, this, this is like the type of thing where we're gonna be like double checking our enchantments, right? So, like, you know, throw, oh, we shouldn't use a, oops, what did I just do? Okay, we have to make sure we actually carry our weapons. Goodness. There we go. Do we not have any... Um... Oh, I must have put away all of my, my filled soul gems. Yeah, I did. I put them on the horse. That's right. Yeah, I only kept the unfilled ones. Just because I was getting sick of dealing with that. Eric's weapon should be fully charged, though. 
And the last thing we're gonna do here was one of these. Feel no effect. Ah. Try that one more time. Leaving your spirit refreshed. Excellent. So, eat the dragon meat? <laughs> no, we haven't cooked any yet. Now, my understanding is that through here is going to be a lot of stuff like this, like desecrated corpses and stuff, but we're going to be focusing on killing the undead in here. Okay. Like you can tell, like, this, you know... There's obviously a necromancer in here, so... Let's see... This might be a locked room, yeah. Too bad we can't read these carvings. Who knows what secrets we'd uncover? Oh, okay. Hmm. Any traps? Don't see any traps? Ancient Nordic blade. Ooh, okay. Take all those. That's my inventory. It's pretty good, right? Reasonably good. Oops. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Somebody's been desecrating the dead. Just trip over a dead body, right? Alright, so this is our first room. Are there any enemies? No? No enemies? Right? Seems simple enough. Right? Yeah, there's a bunch of bunch of dead bodies, but and I don't know if there's any uh anything to loot in here. Maybe we'll try on the way out. I was expecting a bit more of a fight. Okay, here we go. So they're level 34. Here, hold on. We are gonna have unrelenting force up and ready. So they're they're basically like dark shades. All right, we're, we're tearing through them pretty easily. I don't know why I'm not able to get. Oh, here I was worried. Did they drop anything? Oh wow, they do. Okay. There's one more. Where? I heard it. Oh, there it is, okay. Uh, up here. Hmm. Interesting. So, they're shades. It, if, if we go back and look at those desecrated bodies, we'll probably find that they might be, uh, missing, missing their heads. Which is a little horrifying. Am I still under attack? So we'll take all the silver. We'll leave the corundum. I don't think they're gonna have too much good loot. Right? I mean, we can take their silver arrows and stuff, but yeah, I'm not expecting too much out of them, so we won't bother looting them. That's fine. Okay. I mean, they're not too tough, but I have a feeling that if we're not careful, we'll get overwhelmed. What the hell was that? Oh! Oh, get back here! Oh yeah, look at these things! Killing them in one hit. Oh, hello! Piece of cake. Now, what was back up here? Was this like a uh, treasure room that opened? That, oh, okay, I see. Yeah, this is a blocked off area, and... This is where they were coming from. I see. Or perhaps it uh, unlocked that door. Hmm. I mean, if this is the challenge that we're gonna face, the end boss is gonna be a piece of cake. But I have a feeling Over here. that it won't be. Ah. I wanted to go for the sprinting kill just because. Oh, all right. Da -da -da -da. It's like easy XP. I wish I could see their health, though. 
Would be nice. Nope. Nope. Oh my god. Whoa! Eric, come on, man. La 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 Hey, this is great XP. Anybody in here? Yeah, we'll take that. Guess we should have come here earlier, huh? Piles of suspicious black goo. Should consider taking a bath soon. I mean, fair enough, right? No, they still have their heads, but... They ain't looking too good. Need some moisturizer, right? Definitely need some moisturizer. Um, here, let's... Oh, we have to go around, okay. Anything else back here? What's this? This looks kind of suspicious. Expert? We can try. What was that? No. Hey. Did, was that it? Couldn't tell. Yes! No way! No way it was that easy. And I think it's here, right? Wow! Okay. That was pretty good. No, no extra traps. And it's nothing. That's fine. We got some pretty good XP out of that, so... So I'm, I'm, I ain't even mad. You know, I'm really not even mad. Here, we're gonna do a uh, crew heal. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, okay, just... No! Bad shade. I'll have to wait for Eric to come back up, though. I think he has to run around. Yeah, come on. Come on, Eric, you can do it. Run back around. You have to come up the stairs here. <sighs> All right, we'll, we'll go ahead a little bit, but because it looks like this is a new, uh, a new cell, right? Five, nine. Oh, look, we're outside. Okay. Isn't too bad. But we're warm, too. Uh, that could be a problem. There we go, okay. That looks like a boss level chest. And it's expert too, of course. That's all right, we hit, we've had some practice. Right? Oh my God, was that? No. All right, nice and careful. No, I mean, maybe, but. Oh, all right, all right. A little bit less. Okay, a little bit the opposite direction, right? Right there. Oh. So close. Hey, very nice. And what we get? Enchanted blade, nice, 30%. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Some potions and an illusion ring. The little coin always oh. the beans. Eric wants his payment. Thousand gold. That's all right. We have enough money, right? We, I mean, with fifty thousand gold, we can get heavy armor training now. So that's kind of cool. Crude healing potion just to top us off. I need to make sure that our auto saves are up and running here. Um, they aren't. Look at that. So the last time we had a save, and and we just got a save there, was literally when we slept. Right? It's so frustrating when it doesn't save on gameplay. I don't understand why that keeps getting disabled. I prefer that it saves every time we pass through a cell. It's painful. Oh, took the damage. Nope. 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 Uh... That's a lot of fun. It's great having a super, like, OP silver sword, right? That's why you come in prepared. Oh, let's see, let's see, anything else down here? Desecrated dead, right? Hand on a plate. Ooh, a flawless gold emerald ring worth 800 gold. 
Oh, what's that? Ooh, hey, hey. There you are. All right, I, I don't know how to get up there, but that requires a key. How do we get upstairs? This way, maybe? What was it? Oh, that's where we came in. Yes, upstairs. We'll uh, unlock that. So where does that go over there? It's nothing. Ooh, remarkable. Hey, okay. Critical strike. It's a little bit overkill, but still like it. Anything up there? No. No. Chest. Hmm. Yeah, soul gem fragment, right? Apparently, their weight to value ratio is like actually really good, but candlestick. It's like orcish boots. Me forever. We'll find him, Eric. Don't worry. We'll get over there. Uh, like, oh, probably no. Here. Which of this one? Oh, like here, maybe. A little lower. Cool. And it's nothing. <laughs> okay, that. Thirteen gold and a garnet ring. Well, it's better than better than the other one, I guess, <laughs> but not by much. I don't even know why I bother. It's it's more funny than anything. Oh, we activated a trap. Okay. At least we're up here, right? Somebody was shooting at us before, but so let's see. Hello. Go around this way, maybe? Oh, heard Eric pulling his sword. So I don't know if we're still under attack or not. Right there. Oh, so close. Easy. Ancient text? I oh, will take that. That's, you know, a step in the right direction. Bottom of Red Mountain. Iron stuff. That requires a key, that is a skull, and then here was the... I really don't want to fall down that by accident, because then we'd have to go all the way back up here, so we're gonna... Uh. So, I think... What was that? Ow! Don't shoot me with arrows. Very uncool. Hello. Oh, here we go. Like, it takes them half out. We, I, it would be nice if it just instantly killed them, but I feel like that'd be asking for a little much. I don't know if Eric's still following us, but that's okay. What we got, what we got. Like, he'll catch up. Eric will catch up. Oh, okay, that was a trap. So we need to go over here. Anything else? It looks like there's something back there, but... Yeah, I heard... Oh, oh, look, a silver ring. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll rob the dead. 30 gold. How do we get down there? Do we just kind of drop down, maybe? I guess the easiest thing would be to drop down. Oh, is Eric getting taken out by like... <laughs> by a trap? Some trap? Why don't we pass through the door and hopefully he'll, uh... He will heal up. Into the catacombs. Ooh. Wow, we've only been live for like 20 minutes. Or 10 minutes. Yeah, we're making really good time. Uh, okay. Hey, there he is. See, 
He's a little bit injured. Eric, I'm gonna renew your healing aura. How is my healing aura? Healing aura, it's like seven minutes? Yeah, it's probably worth renewing that as well. How long are they, 20? Yeah. So we really are killing it. Hmm. All right, come out, come out and play. I think this might be it, the final boss room. I'm not sure, but I think it's it. And I swear if I, like if I take this guy out in like two hits, I'm gonna laugh so hard. You know what I could be doing is uh, casting Sunfire. All right, we're gonna top off with Crude Healing Potion. I think I'm gonna take a look at the different potions I have here. So we have a bunch of Resist Fire. I'm gonna double check that I'm wearing all the correct like magic resist stuff here, right? We are, so that's good. Also, I noticed the, the Mask of Clavicus file has zero armor rating, zero armor, compared to like 170, which I'm pretty sure 170 is like 17% resistance to physical damage, right? So that's a little bit disappointing. Now, somebody went through a lot of trouble to light all these candles. For us, just for us. All right. Let's, oh, ah, fine, fine. I, I'm getting like FPS hits from all these candles. We're gonna do a quick save here, because I think this is the final battle. Y'all ready? Right. I'm gonna do a sprinting battle attack on him. Oh no! I missed! I freaking missed him! Oh my god, I killed him in one hit! Are you serious? Whoa, but these guys... Oh, wait, he had a Wraith version too? Look, I killed him! That was easy! Okay, okay, one over here. This is the end for you. Oh my god, my health is really low though. I didn't notice that. Um, we'll do a remarkable one. So, we... <sighs> okay. Great. Oh, uh, so they don't have any gold in them. There was, uh, in, in the vanilla version, they usually have gold on them, but yeah, we did it. Holy crap. Okay. Now, once we activate that, uh, we are automatically removed from this room. So that's why I'm looking around a little bit for some loot, but I don't think there's any here, right? It used to be that these guys had like 250 gold each, but I guess that was patched out of Requiem. So, we did it. Holy crap. I was expecting this to be way harder, right? And here it is. Activate the ah, okay, activate the pedestal. Just feels right. No, Eric. It's a new life as an adventurer. It's what I was meant to do. So there we go. And I'm over encumbered, but Dawnbreaker is received. Oh, it's a bright light. Malkarin is vanquished. Skyrim's dead shall remain at rest. This is as it should be. This is because of you. A new day is dawning, and you shall be its herald. Take the mighty Dawnbreaker. And with it, purge corruption from the dark corners of the world. Wield it in my name, that my influence may grow. 
I'll keep the sword, but find someone else to spread your religion. Um, we, so Eric, will wield this mighty blade in your honor. May the light of certitude guide your efforts. Meridia kind of has the ability to kill us if she doesn't put us down properly. Okay, so she, she set us down gently. Yay, we did it! I don't know where Eric is, but let's let's put some stuff on the horse, right? Eric will be back soon. He's probably, yeah, I don't know where Eric is, but he'll catch up. Anything else we can drop off? Uh, any books or anything? Not really, yeah, that. Why are we over in cupboard? Oh yeah, these in this. All right, so let's take a look at what we got. There it is. There it is. It's worth 80,000 gold. Does 92 damage. Dawnbreaker's eternal purpose is the annihilation of undead wherever they might lurk. Ooh. Now this is a one-handed weapon. We will equip it just to kind of showcase it here a little bit. Oh. Oh. Hey, Eric. Glad to... <laughs> Eric. Uh, Eric wasn't doing too good down in the catacombs, apparently, but I'm glad to see he's back, right? All right. Hey, Eric. At first, I thought I'd miss one. What do you I have something for you. There you are. Very nice. So he is going to wield Dawnbreaker. I'm going to take Bouncer. Pretty good. <laughs> he's embedded with a few steel arrows, so I'm like, oh, hey, Eric, let me... Let me take those from you. Yeah, I think he's still all set, right? We'll take the, uh, the Greybeard ropes here. Oh, yeah, he has all of these uh, pelts there. I forgot about those. And all the books. Let's let's put all these on the horse. You lead, I'll follow. So I'll work on that. Let's, uh, let's give him a heal, too. Oh! Eric, look at your awesome sword. A lot. So I don't know what his health is, but we'll just keep doing this until I'm out of Magicka. Look at that sword. Very nice. So what we'll do, now that we have Dawnbreaker... What are we going to do now? I suppose... Well, we could run over here and kill the leader of Orphan's Tear and complete that quest since we're up here. But I feel like that isn't exactly... That was kind of just like a random quest for Solitude, right? We could head over to Markarth. But I think a more pressing matter... Let's take a look at our journal here. Is going to be heading over to this dragon burial site. Now that was over here. We saw another dragon down near the Elder Gleam Sanctuary. This is the one that cost us two superlative potions. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and take on this dragon. So rather than digging up this dragon over here, we're going to try and take on the dragon over here. You can actually see the mountain that it sleeps on. It's right here, this tiny little mound, right? So we're going to head over there. I think the easiest place to travel from is probably... Shores Stone, right? Is where we can take the, uh... The, the get a ride to, hitch a ride. We might, it might be okay to run down from Windhelm, but I think it'll be easier to do it from uh, Shores Stone. So, we'll head back over to Solitude, get a ride to Shores Stone, pay the 750 gold, or whatever it is, and take on a dragon. And that'll be the second half of today's episode. So, I will see you there. Yeah, I'll I'll sort all this stuff out and then we'll jump to the uh, the actual training, but but first just for fun, right? The uh, whirlwind and sprint. Yep. Thank you for noticing. We probably should have sold some of the stuff over there, but oh look, it's our package. How do we uh, look? Look, it, it uh here check mail. 
Oh my goodness. So this is all of the stuff that we sent in through the mail, right? Full set of Stormcloak stuff. All these ingredients. I think... What happened? Oh, I see. Yeah, so all of these ingredients, right? All of the books that we picked up. And then all of this other stuff. All the ingots and everything like that. So we'll just take all. Excellent. So we're now at uh, 1100 carry weight. Oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. But I'll, uh, I'll, I'll skip to the part where it's fully organized and then I'll do a quick showcase of how the house is different. All right, so we dropped everything off. We were able to fill our bookshelf pretty much with all the sermons of Vivek here, which is pretty nice. We took all of our ingredients and deposited them. So that was ridiculous. So many ingredients, right? We have 234 char sags. Uh, all of the ancient texts we have, all of these enchanted handles that we can use for training our um, enchanting level, right? All of the imbued things, another old grimoire. We have all these black soul gems. I don't know what we're going to do with them, right? Translation tomes. See, we haven't found very many translation tomes. Now that I think about it, that's interesting. And we, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's five different types. So that's interesting. What else? Um, yeah, we deposited a bunch of, you know, items in here. So a lot of silver, a bunch of ebony. So that ebony we might be able to smelt into, I think, Daedric, right? Can you make Daedric? No, it's you, you use the ebony to create Daedric. That's what it is. But you also need, like, Daedra hearts, which are super rare. I don't think we'll be able to find any. Dumped a few things in here, like the Greybeard's equipment, a couple of extra black cloaks, just because Bouncer's now on the wall. I haven't switched out this yet, but... And then I decided to officially just deposit all of the gems. We're up to, uh, to 60,000 gold. <laughs> Don't worry, we're about to take a big dent out of that. But in our safe is so many gems, our, our dragon claws, a few other like treasure maps and notes from friends and whatever. So this that cleared this out significantly. You know, this is a quest item. So our inventory, other than the potions, and I'm gonna be figuring out how to clear out the potions eventually, but our inventory is looking way better, right? Um, yeah, a lot of these I just kind of threw in there because I was like, ah, I might enchant them later, but who knows? So, excellent. We will now run over to, I mean, one of the things we can try doing here is uh, getting Heimsker to acknowledge that we saved him, but his script is really wonky, so I don't know if we'll be able to do that. I don't know. Okay, that's interesting. There we go. <laughs> we probably won't be able to do it. I could try running into him. No, see, it, it has to be at night when his script for preaching isn't working. So we'll check out the back, and we're going to see what I wanted to test, because we're still wearing um, the Helm of Clavicus Vile, is will we get a discount on our training? And that is going to be one of the things that we test, and I'll be really happy if we can. I kind of doubt it, but it's worth a, te uh, you know, worth a try in my opinion. So let's see, is it, is it Farkas? Some people don't think I'm yes. smart. The, I'll show you what I can about All protecting yourself. All right, so yourself. it's 5,700 gold. And then if we take off the helmet, right, where is it? It my is, Vilkis, I'll show you what I can about protecting yourself. 5,700 gold. So that's okay, right? It's the same no matter what, figures. So we'll just put our normal helmet back on and uh, switch over to all the, the correct armor we have here. So we're back to that. Thinking I need to train. I'll show you what I can about protecting yourself. All right. So we're at 60k gold. This is just five levels, right? Ow, 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 ow. 29,000 gold. And we got a level up. So our heavy armor is past 75, which is pretty good. Until next time. Oh. By the gods.
Let's okay. Throw it into Magicka. We can now look at look. Our speech is buffed up to 96. We almost have like level 100 speech. That's pretty cool. So we will put this into. We can't do. Well, actually, we can do something with two-handed. I'll do that in just a moment. What I'm really interested in right now is this. Once a day, you can use the power of the combatant to restore 100 stamina instantly and 25 stamina for 30 seconds. And this, this is getting us closer to this, so it's basically a free stamina potion every day. So we'll take that. For two-handed, what I am very interested in is our great sword focus. Now what this does is it increases your attack speed by 20%, which is basically doing 20% more damage, right? Like if you're swinging back and forth, that's pretty good. It allows us to do faster um, like power attacks as well. So I think we're gonna take it. I'm, I'm a big fan of great swords, so. And I don't know if that only increased it by like 10%, but still pretty good. Anything else we want to take? We could throw stuff into alchemy or unlock another magic tree, but I think we'll be all set. We might even throw it into smithing, but I think we'll hold on to it for now. How how close are we? Right, like it's over here. So I think what we're gonna do. Oh. Yeah, this this is where the dragon was buried. And there it is. Oh my goodness. All right. That's a good place to leave our horse. Well, I guess this hole is as safe as it's going to get, right? I want to travel on foot from now on. We're doing a little bit of level training, but this is the part where things get really intense. So we're going to use our bow. The first thing that we're going to need to do is hit this dragon with one of these uh, damage poisons, and they'll do like 1500 damage over a long period of time, right? So that's why we have a couple of these. We get them from Falmer, they're really good for dragons. The other thing we're gonna try and do is get this dragon to attack the uh, the giants that are down here. And the mammoths, so I, cause at the very least we'll get, you know, some good mammoth meat. And worst case, they'll uh, end up killing us, so. All right, come on big boy. We're ready for you now. We're dragon killers. Oh, okay. It sees us. Ah. Okay. I don't see any dragons. All right, let's see if we can land this. It hit. Oh. But is it doing any poison damage? I can't tell, it might be. I think it is, I hope it is. All right, what type is that? It doesn't seem to be doing uh, Drain Vitality anymore. We can handle ice. Maybe this is a different dragon. Come on, you big dumb beast. Here, we're just gonna have to... Oops, um... I don't know, we want Sunfire. Ah! We are doing like no damage to this thing. You know what? I have a better idea. Ah. 
All right. If we can get the mammoth to attack it, that'd be cool too. I don't see any giants here. Eric's stuck in the ground. Ah! Where are all the giants? Oh. Maybe they're all dead. There we go. Welcome, my friend. Ooh. Nice. Got one last hit in really quick. Come on. Come back down. No. Let's see if we can't get uh, one more one more of those poisons up. Well, it should still be active. I don't see any of the giants here anymore. Hello. Oh, back up, back up. Get a potion up. Whoa. We're gonna need some help. I was expecting there to be giants here. Oh, there's one giant right there. Eric's still stuck in the ground? Yeah, he is. See? There we go. Ah, okay, hold on, hold on. We'll do a good one, and then we're gonna do some stamina. Like, a decent one's fine. No! Ah. Well. I... What happened to the giant? Where'd the giant go? Whoa. Nope. Missed me. Okay, that one hit. All right, let's see if we can get another poison on it. Uh, this one. Gonna need first person for this. Oh, we are low on stamina. We have an ability to restore our stamina. It's power of the combat. So let's use it! Ooh, okay. Get our healing up, please. Ah, missed. Eric, I swear, am I gonna have to do this whole fight inside? Ah, or with you inside the ground? Oh, okay, okay. That's gonna take a remarkable one, just in case we're hit with something really bad. Yep, and we're out of stamina. Not good, not good. All right, we're running now. We are running behind the rock. Can't get us now. Oh, okay. This is fine. This is fine, we're all fine here. Stamina. Oh, it's grounded. It's officially grounded. All right, we're gonna need a remarkable one now. And maybe, uh, maybe some resist frost. It's gonna be something that definitely helps us. Ha ha ha. Nope. Try harder than that. Whoa. 
One more, one more, let's do it! Whoa! Holy crap! So we, we got hit and killed it at the same time. Whoa. Holy cow. I blame Eric being bugged out on that one. Eric seems to be stuck on his horse and I didn't notice. Oh. Come on, Eric. All right, we're gonna, we'll do a quick save. So frustrating. We, uh, let's reload. Because Eric's, like, stuck. I think we're gonna have to, like, enter a building or something to get Eric unstuck. I don't know how to fix him. Because just reloading isn't gonna do anything, so. And, and for some reason, that giant got stuck in the ground, too. So, I'm blame bugs on the reason that we ended up having to, uh, die. Well, we didn't really die. I mean, no, we died. But, luckily, we can pray. And I don't know if that's going to uh, reset us for the day, but to gain our ability back. So what did we get? Draw blood. What time is it to? It took like an hour and a half in game. Oh, is there, oh, is there a uh, button to teleport followers to you? There is, but that doesn't seem to fix this problem, right? So thanks, Eric. Thanks for nothing. So frustrating. Nice. Dragon scales, dro bones, dragon eye. We already tried a, uh, a dragon eye before, right? It doesn't weigh that much, surprisingly. You'd think it would. Anything in its inventory? It's an ebony arrow. But otherwise, not really all that much. Who are you? I have to wonder. What does the Dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thum be taught like any skill? Hmm. All right, then. All right. So that was very difficult, but I think we already looted this guy, yeah. What we have unlocked, though, is all of the loot that's up on this mountain. So we're going to run there and uh, see what we get. I'm still pretty frustrated that Eric couldn't help us in that battle. I feel like it was terribly unfair, but... You know, what can you do, right? Yeah, it got him. Like where this is going. No, it, uh... Yeah, we already killed the boss here. So now we get to unlock the word wall. That was the dra The dragon was the boss for this location. What do we got? Oh, it's another uh, frost. Another one for frost. Nice. Take some of the dragon's tongue up here. Where is the chest? Yes. There it is. All right. Two ancient texts. Nice shield. Four flawless aquamarine. We'll take those. A couple of potions. These are pretty good, right? Okay. So we got a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of stuff there. Is Eric, yeah, Eric's still in the ground, which meant he wasn't helping at all. That's okay. I, what I should have done is giving him, given him a healing aura, and we would have seen that he was stuck in the ground. But there we have it. That is going to be our stream for the night. So we managed to kill this dragon here. I'm glad it wasn't draining vitality, and you know, we were basically just getting hit with frost. It's too bad that we got knocked down and we had to use Arcade's Blessing to get back up, but that's the way it goes, right? Especially when you're experiencing weird, wonky bugs, you know? it's That's basically the purpose of Arcade's Blessing, is to counteract the wonky bugs that we have from playing Skyrim, because it's Skyrim. So, thank you all so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. On the next episode, we're going to be heading to Kynesgrove and taking out the dragon there. So that'll be right at the beginning of the next episode. So, thank you. Good night.